Hello guys, how are you all doing? Luke Hodge here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade uh, your USB 3.0 card uh, in your PC. As uh, I do have a USB 3.0 card in here, but it only has two ports now. As uh, the computer's on, as this computer only has USB Thunderbolt and USB 2.0, so as it is at the moment, it's quite restricted to uh, power and quick upload speeds. So, at the moment, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be upgrading that, so I've got a bit more USB point three point uh, ability to this computer. So uh, either way, I'm gonna get into it. So all you're really gonna need for this project is literally a screwdriver, and that's it. There's not really anything to this than a screwdriver to get this installed. So uh, yeah. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to get that and just remove the screws from the side. Uh, it's probably easier to sort of stand up in this case so I can see what I'm doing. But I suppose that often helps. Um, yes. So you want to keep your screw in the screws in a safe plate, but as I have a load of these PC screws, it's not a problem for me if I lose any of them versus if I lost one from my MacBook or uh, iPhone repairs and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just undoing these. Okay, uh, and they are removed. And all you need to do is when you've done that, is just slide the panel to the side. And there you go, there it's removed. And then you can access stuff in your computer. Now, it's not. it was not that long ago, I actually uh, dust cleaned this computer. And to be honest, Looking inside it, it's actually not bad at all. It actually looks fairly clean, cable management tied. It's all it's all good there. It's nice, actually, very nicely um, compact and neated up. So much, um, it's actually made it so sort of difficult to clean. But either way, it's in and it's there. So um, and it's not that dusty either. But I may be upgrading this computer possibly at some point. But honestly don't know exactly when but anyway i'm just going to pop this uh actually let me change angles because it'll uh help you guys out to see exactly what you're doing so uh yeah let me just do that um so yeah yeah i put a little light there so hopefully you can see it but basically all i need to do is i'm just going to remove this flappy piece of plastic that's covering the uh the uh, io port covers off there we go bit of dust off that but nothing too major uh so all i'm gonna need is a screwdriver to remove that screw. Might actually need to resource, yes, I'm gonna to need to find a longer one. It's, uh, it's just not that, it's just that a bit too close for it to uh, remove. But luckily I've got one, so uh, in handy reach. So I'm just gonna shove that in. And there we go, it's coming undone. Do do do, do do do. Remove it. Now this computer is quite small and it is one of those you have to get around with but to be honest it's not too much of a big deal uh, in this case luckily but yeah all I need to do now is just unplug the I the I.O. card if I can well from the I.O. slot and hopefully the new one is going to fit but in most cases there's no reason why it won't fit be careful with these sharp edges as you may cut yourself I haven't luckily done that yet anyway um it's quite surprising to, for me to be honest as luckily normally these things are big pain in the arse to get out if they've been pushed in well there we go it's just unslotted from the sides so now hopefully oh it's just slotted beside my graphics card god and then there we go so i'm just gonna unplug that it's, yeah that's been very well pushed in there we go and it's removed so there's the old one it's the exact same there you go as i said it's got the two ports uh but we'll be placing and upgrading it to the bigger one that will hopefully still fit in this case because the case uh design is often a bit small but uh yes it, oh yeah that's another thing to check make sure they're the same type of connector pins before you put it in and make sure it's going to fit and in this case, it looks like it should fit without a problem. So, yeah, all I need to do is connect the uh, 
Uh, hopefully you can see this in the image. Yes, you can. All I need to do is just plug in the power to this so you can power it up. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's clicked in with a nice solid click, so that's good. And now all I need to do is just line this up and plug it in. Uh, I'm going to leave your camera there, to be honest, because uh, this is a tight squeeze anyway, so you wouldn't be able to see it anyway without me being able to see where it's going to go. And simple as that, that's clicked in. So all I need to do now is just make sure that's in there and it's not going anywhere and just reinstall that screw to uh, hold it in place so it doesn't flap around all over the shop. So yeah, all I need to do is just put that in, line it up and uh, yeah, we'll be good to go and we'll be laughing. These are quite fiddly so yeah, that's that. Uh, just screw it in and then you should be sorted. Make sure it's not going anywhere, basically speaking, and uh, yeah, that is that. So all you need to do, if it, you've got like me with these random little cases that have those little plastic -y things to hide the, the uh, I.O. ports, and uh, just shove that back in to avoid massive gaps and God knows what else. Uh, if you actually can get it back in, because most of these are quite weird and awkward to get back in, because that's what they are, pain in the arses. There we go, that's just snapped back in, now as I've learned the technique. And uh, all you need to do is just put the side panel okay, back on. Okay, so now as that's in, it's, and make sure our power's all in, it's all good, and it, and it is. All I'm going to do is just put the side panel back on. Make sure you put it on. Uh, just take your time, make sure you get it slotted in properly with the feet, locks and the rest of it. Just lift. That. Make sure you don't cut yourself on anything, as it is very easy to do with, in most cases with these PC cases. Sometimes it may take a bit of a fiddle to try and get these cases to fit on properly, but there you go, that's on good. Be a little bit careful, but sometimes some of this is often required to get it to have a nice tight fit. And there you go, it's all good to go. So all you need to do is just put your screws back in and you'll be good to go and see if you, uh, your USB cards work. Now, in some cases, if it, if you've just installed this from fresh and not replacing it, sometimes it may take a bit. It may take a bit to recognise the uh, the new card has been installed, but in most cases, it it should hopefully just boot in and you'll be laughing. But yeah, I'm just gonna give that a check, make sure that's all good. This screwdriver is a bit screwed, to be honest. Screwed with a screwdriver. Put that in. I'm going to use my mini one again as it uh, has a better grip because it's not a flat head and this is actual crosshead. The only reason I used that on the IP, the um, IO card, is um, because um, I couldn't get a proper grip with it. But luckily, this should just work just fine. And uh, there you go. Simple as that. Uh, that's how you uh, do it. So we'll just plug everything back into the computer and we'll check it all okay, works. I just powered it on, um, switch it on for the back, it already sort of, it already powered itself on by its own. But I plugged everything in, it, including all my USB. Uh, actually, it's very convenient because it's got four USB ports on the back and I actually have four devices. Uh, and I've just booted it up, so it should be working. Uh, oh, I forgot to turn that monitor on. That might be a uh, reason why we're not seeing anything. My mistake. Um, so yeah, it may just take a little bit to realise that the new card has been installed, uh, and that's the only thing really you have to be worried about. So yeah, I'm just going to enter my password. So I'm just going to turn you guys that way, so you don't see that, because uh, honestly, it's probably not going to make me look any good. Uh, but anyway, back to my home page. Um, uh, we should get so uh, the best way that, to check everything's working is is to go into uh, this PC and check um, everything's there. See if all your connections are there. And more in doubt, yes, they are. Uh, as I have my family hard drive, and it has three partitions for 2014, 2015, 2016. Um, that obviously need to be changed and have a load of others. But either way, they're in and they're there. And so is my uh, local disk and my hard disk. It basically has all my YouTube stuff on it and the rest of it. 
but it's been important for jobs and stuff like that to show what I do and the rest of it because you never know what you may need to get a job so that's my backup disc and the rest of it and if it has everything on and the local disc is my backup disc but it's got Windows XP on it at the moment for loads of other things but either way that's that so uh, yeah that's basically how you change uh, upgrade or add uh, a USB 3.0 card so uh, yeah please comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye